Irene Wall, Fleet Avenue. Um, I did look over the uh, administration ordinance and uh, through the chair to um, Councilwoman Griffin, Griffin Usak. Maybe she can get together with Councilwoman Pearlstein and make sure that the um, agendas for the planning and zoning boards. Now, I know that's n not exactly the area, but it's all part of the administration. For three years, I have been asking the mayor and never get an answer. Now, if you're going to start putting all the resolutions and ordinances on, you certainly have room to put the planning and zoning board agendas. Frankly, in my opinion, I think the, ma the mayor, in his uh, zeal to say that he had this open government, is now hiding behind the fact that he doesn't want open government. Because if those things were on the television um, and Channel 15, Edison TV, uh, you might have a lot more people coming out and um, doing their civic duty by complaining if, that's, was, if that was their desire. But a lot of people don't know what's happening in this town until the walls come up and everything is done. So I would stress very vehemently that the planning and zoning board's agendas be on television. And, okay, we'll take it from there. Uh, with the combined meetings, number one, these agendas are horrible. First of all, a secretary would be shot. Well, maybe not shot, but probably written up somewhere. These agendas are horrible. You do not say when one meeting is beginning and ending. You just keep right on going into the other one. Carl Zimmerman p tapped me on the shoulder. He says, where are we? I said, well, see, I know how to follow it. <laughs> but you know what? There are, you can make two agendas if, if it's so hard to make, you know, and is there any explanation? And when I'm finished, then somebody can give me an answer to that. And besides that, P.S. Three times I have said, spell verify, spell verify. Well, that's a secretarial note. Um, number three, on the um, combined meeting that somebody mentioned in April of 2009, I happened to go to the ladies' room, and by luck I found a little date book out there. And I happened to look, and it looks like it's Easter week. And I was just wondering um, through the chair if you could answer when my time is up, um, why there was a question about the quorum. And I do believe that was the reason why that was stated for that meeting being a combined meeting. Combined meetings are horrible, and it's true. You don't have the time to digest. We don't have the time to, to di digest anything critical, important. COA, I think the state of New Jersey should just let COA disappear, sink it into the meadowlands or in the, in the swamps or someplace. We're the only state in the nation that has COA. Does anybody know that? And we're being forced, us and all the other towns, by this division or government, part of the government, that tells us what we need to do with our land. They take away home rule. Um, let me see. Um, oh, um, I do want to ask Mr. Lair the question that I know Mr. Wolke has always asked. Uh, have you found a, um, a legal decision on the form of budget that was, is in our law, from what I understand. He says there's a form of the budget that's supposed to be part of the budgetary process by law. And you said after two meetings or two meetings ago, and last meeting, you were going to check up on it. Have you gotten a decision on, on, on whether that's legal or illegal? Well, Council President, the form of form of resolution that has been prepared by Mr. Holberg is consistent with the state form. It is on the state form. Uh, I think the question that he asked was about some of the backup material that is identified in our ordinance. Uh, I think that was the question that Mr. Wolke asked. Okay. Then um, the other question I have is um, Mr. Cancro said he feels he has someone. Uh, can he just answer me yes or no? Is Mr. Farring back going to be in? taking care of our township? Through the chair, sir. Mr. Cancro? Council President, I didn't say I have someone. I said I'll inform the council shortly. Okay. <laughs> we think he's gonna be back. Um, the other question is to Mr. Holberg. Did he ever uh, get 
a resolution on the people who use the easy passes and whether they're allowed to make a separate um, thing to the IRS because uh, according to the IRS, you have to report all those things separately. Uh, anything that you're getting as a comp in your, in your, uh, in your contract or salary. Sober? No, I, I don't have any information on that. Okay. I do want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. You too, ma'am. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa, you too, ma'am. Whatever else there is in our culture today, I take uh, umbrage at the atheists who say they don't like people saying Merry Christmas. I have a right to say Merry Christmas, not to you. You know, this is not taken to you. But I, whenever I'm in the stores these days, the first thing I say is Merry Christmas, and to my little unique people on uh, Oak Tree Road and Park Avenue, I say Feliz Navidad. And to Mr. Holberg, lots of good luck in the new year and your new job. And um, I'm sorry to see you go. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Carl Zimmerman. Carl Zimmerman, Edison, New Jersey. Saw you back before, Bob. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I can vouch for what Bill Stevens said, Irene Wall, about the streets. And I can say it was out Christmas shopping for my nine grandchildren, and two more this year, or three more, whatever you want to call it, who was looking at the decorations around town. And I even gave Bob Dale a call. Bob Dale's block was no preference. His block was the same way like everybody else's in this whole town. Worse. Worse. Oh, we didn't get it. And my wife could not Sunday night. believe it. He was going on around Calvert. It was bad. No reason for it. You remember, Bob, when I was working them 13 hour days back in 05, didn't somebody give you a call at 20 after 6 in the morning? <laughs> I said, Where are the sand trucks? Mm -hmm. But uh, it's unfortunate we're paying the price for yesterday. Mm -hmm. They did clean the Turnpike Bridge sidewalks with, with the little plows. And you got two guys standing with shovels up there now. It's all craters on that sidewalk. And there was few other things I didn't like what I seen over the weekend. There was a private plow plowing the sidewalks on Inway Avenue on our taxpayers' money. The pavers. You don't plow pavers. So if any of them came up, we better not foot the bill. Because I think the other thing that went on this past week and I did not like. Have a nice holiday, nice Christmas. You too, Carl, thank you. Ms. Nemitz. Ladies before gentlemen, so I know, I know you know that. <laughs> 